I was out in Lincoln, Nebraska for the Postural Restoration Annual Symposium this last weekend. And one of the reasons I went was because there was going to be a, a featured speaker about uh, feet. And I've always had a foot issue. And as I described in one of my last videos about being pain uh, as a teacher, I kind of use my left foot as a marker for how relaxed my body is. If my body is more in a state of tension, I'm going to feel a callus on the outside of my left foot. When my body is, let's say, neutral, which means I am in a good resting position, which enables all ranges of motion, so I'm not, uh, I'm not tense, I'm not in an extended position anywhere, I won't feel that callus. Very interestingly, in the past two months, I kept feeling that callus and a new callus. And I couldn't figure out what was going on until I went out to Nebraska this weekend. So what you're going to see in the video after that I'm going to attach to this one, I'm going to sensitize my feet. So I'm going to provide my feet, and thus my brain, different sensory information. And depending on the sensory information, where it's coming in through the foot, uh, I, you will see that I will either lose range of motion in a standing reach test, and then I will regain that range of motion in the same test by giving myself different information. So what I mean is this. You're not going to really, well, you'll see me put a towel underneath my foot, but so what I'm doing, so if this is the left foot, here's the arch of the left foot. If I give myself sensory information with a towel, a small towel, it doesn't have to be big, through the left arch, I will lose range of motion. <clears throat> I don't necessarily know why that is, but that's what's happening. Now here, this is the, the head, you can see it, it's kind of a knob, is the head of the first metatarsal, so the big toe. And when we're walking, this, this big toe is really, really important. As you step through, if you're on your left foot, you heel strike, then you go to midfoot, you pronate at mid stance, and then your foot has to resupinate as you step forward in order to push off the big toe. If this head of the metatarsal never firmly depresses into the ground, you can't get uh, extension of that big toe. And that's problematic. That's going to throw off how you're walking. That throws off the whole gait cycle. So what I didn't realize was I had a callus not on the head of the metatarsal, but kind of it's um, inside slightly and a little bit lower. And I think that's where my weight was coming down for some reason. And to tell you the truth, I don't really know why. And that was what I was referencing. And th that was throwing all my, uh, my mechanics off. But what I discovered was if I put a callus pad right where the metatarsal head is, and then I just feel it, I will reget that range, I will regain range of motion. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to put a towel underneath my arch. I will lose range of motion. It's nothing drastic because I'm pretty relaxed right now and I'm only standing on it for about 15 seconds before I retest. But think about it day after day after day, it's going to add up. And then I'm going to take the towel away, and I'm going to feel the, the pad on the metatarsal head. I'm just going to sense it. We call it referencing. I'm going to give my brain reference to where I am in relation to the ground. Because when your foot is not hitting the ground properly, your brain may not like it, and it will tense you up as, as a result. And again, this can happen with any sensory system, teeth, vision. It's the same idea. Either you're getting too much sensory information through one point or not enough. And so in PRI, what I'm doing here is giving myself a new reference, which is the head of the metatarsal, instead of that other aberrant reference, which was not in the right spot. And I don't know about the left arch. I'm not sure, really sure why that happens. But at any rate, you'll see what happens. Uh, and again, it's not a huge difference, but it is enough. Uh, so I hope you find this interesting.